2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Jazz coming down the tunnel earlier, ready to do battle on their own. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Jason Tatum. And one thing that has been very consistent for him the last few years, his ability to continue to deliver more and more offense. He's been doing everything that's been asked of him. Now the starting group for London. They've got Joe Harris. Young is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Conley, and it's Adams, and at the center position. And for the Jams, we've got Shea Gilgis Alexander. Rudy Gay is out there with Ben Simmons. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. And it's Horford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, we know the playoffs are right around the corner, Greg. Do you think any of these teams change their approach? Four playoff contenders. Kev, you know, goal number one is health. I mean, outside of that, you're, you're looking at seeding. You're trying to fine-tune, but you want to just get it dialed in and get ready for what's about to be a marathon run, you hope, in the postseason. Find that fine-tuning. Here's Conley. After the made shot from Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. Simmons finds Gilgis Alexander. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And stolen by Horford. Conley against Simmons. Shooter passes to Gay. And it's off from three-point range. Now the Lions with it. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks. Here's Horf. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Horford the pass to Gilgis Alexander and it's in there great concentration through the contact Gilgis Alexander excellent focus Conley surveying the D the teardrop falls in oh such a feel shot there the floater Jazz have gone three of five shooting the ball so far Schroeder outside and Simmons kicks to Gay. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Gay. Shot clock at six. Here's Schroeder. The rebound by Steven Adams. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Here's Conley. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. Here's Conley after the made shot from Dennis Schroeder. And Horford pulls it down. And so Horford will bring it up for the Utah Jams. And this is the first time matched up with London this year. And you have to love it when there's a matchup like this. Two teams that are at the top of their respective conferences going at it. And the fact that they split their two meetings last season. Does one try to get a leg up? Here's Tatum following the bucket by the Jams. Gay with the block. Yeah, you got to respect those long arms of Gay. I mean, superb at swatting shots away with those big hands. Her passes to Gilgis Alexander. Utah gets it back. Simmons. Basket good. Simmons got his second bucket. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside. It goes strong to the rim. Tatum kicks to Harris. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, you can tell there's a team first mentality with the young gun Jason Tatum working to find the open teammate. Nice. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one.
It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And from what we've seen from the Jazz so far, what's your take? Playing inside out in that first quarter led to some high percentage shots in the paint. It is great when you can get that established early because to me it opens up every other aspect of your game. In a moment now to reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So on the floor for Utah. They've got Simmons. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Horford. And it's Gay in at the small forward position. And that one's good. Simmons. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Conley, the pass to Tatum. Back to Conley. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. Well, there's not a little bit of hesitation with Mike Conley. I know he's slight of frame, but he's thinking I can score it in the painted area. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter's face and then go and corral that backboard. Back to Tatum. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got three assists in the game. Well, the increasing strength of Jason Tatum is making it harder to knock him off his path. That is nice. Here's Schroeder. He had a 36-point outing in the last game again. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high-percentage looks from inside. Harris looking it over. The pass to come. Over to the left wing. To the paint. And Young kicks to Harris. The kick out to Young. Goes back up, and the layup is up and in. Young's got his first basket of the night. Well, such an aggressive play. Young not taking no for an answer, just overpowers the defense. Here's Gilgis Alexander. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now, and in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it, and, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start, start talking about having to guard the three-point line. It's easy to me to see why Thaddeus Young's teammates love him. This guy always knows his role and always plays within himself. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And once Schroeder was asked to name his favorite NBA city, I believe it surprised a lot of fans when he said Milwaukee. That's right, Greg. But he cited the strong German culture there. Schroeder, of course, went straight from Germany to the NBA. He relied on his athleticism early on. But now he's seeing the game much better, plays under control, can lead the team. He has had a tremendous amount of growth. Well, there's a certain level of quickness you've got to contend with. Mike Conley off the dribble drive. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Horford. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Thaddeus Young, and he's got his first free throw of the game. Guys, I know we've discussed this many times, but I don't think statistics really reflect Al Horford's true value. This guy is a terrific player and a pro's pro. Now here is Harris. Dishes to Conley. Outside Tatum. To the inside, Harris. And the basket is good. Harris has got it all tied up now for the Lions. Nice to see Joe Harris add this to his game. We know he's a dangerous shooter, but go ahead and mix it up on the interior. He passes to Schroeder. Side for Simmons. Six on the shot clock. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. 
Gay. That's a two-pointer and a great assist by Gildas Alexander as that one goes in. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. Man, they are battling. Neither team. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's the Jazz. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. Look at the history of the Utah Jazz. No championships. Two finals appearances. And That's all for now. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Ben Simmons really making a difference here. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute, and this guy has done just that. Second half underway. Here's who Brad Stevens got on the floor. Joe Harris is out there with Conley. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then it's Young, and it's Adams, and at the five. Conley's shot is off. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against him. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Lions. Trailing by two. Harris outside. Adams trying to free himself up is up and he lays it up and in Adams has got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Lions Schroeder outside passes to Horford outside Gilgis Alexander for London they've gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room with the break Pass to Tatum. For the lead. Bangs home the trifecta. Tatum's got the lead up to three now for the Lions. This guy a sensational shooter. It doesn't take a lot of separation for Jason Tatum to put it in the basket. They shoot again. London with the rebound. Adams has got six rebounds now in the game. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight they've missed. A nice shot by Tatum. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. It's Schroeder with the drop, and he makes that one. Schroeder's got eight points. Come on, this guy's so explosive when he comes into the painted area. Dennis Schroeder, a spark plug right now. Conley against Gilgis Alexander. Tatum on the wing. From 15 feet away, here's Adams. No good on that one. So Utah will take it the other way. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Stolen by Michael Conley. Inside, here's Tatum. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Jazz trail by five. And Adams sends it back. This is one of the toughest bigs in the league. Steven Adams challenging opponents defensively. Nicely done. Here's Gilgis Alexander. He has six. Gay outside. Schroeder up top, guarded by Harris. And it's Schroeder missing. London on offense. They're on an 11-2 run. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And now a nine-point Lions lead. The Jazz shooting pretty good tonight at 48%. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Down low. Here's Simmons. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. The incredible focus of Simmons. Not, nothing gets to this guy, even when he's getting bodied by the defense. And as it goes out of bounds, the Lions able to keep the ball here. And the Lions with possession here. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. 
And the wingspan of Gay helps alter shots. Terrific at just pestering scores. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. Bucket is good. Well, the size advantage playing a big part there just calmly rises and fires. And so it's London holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. Rudy Gay is out there with Ben Simmons. Then there's Dennis Schroeder. Then there's Shea Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Horford in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. London leading by eight. Poked away. Stolen by Gay. And oh, here we go. Gay's got it. The fast break chance. There's Schroeder. A three-pointer off the mark. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. London with the ball. Adams dishes to Conley. Knocks it loose. And it's blocked by Simmons. How about the balance and body control? Simmons able to send that one packing. Tatum. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now 8 for 14. Continuing to show activity on the offensive glass. Second chance buckets have been huge. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Back to Schroeder. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's his first foul. Gilgis Alexander against Conley. The Jazz working the ball around now. Clock is at three. There's Schroeder. And he really seems to just have lost his touch at halftime. Can't cash in from the high post. Here's Young, and it's slammed in by Young. Well, if you want to pinpoint one thing about Mike Conley, it's his feel for the game. That's a pretty pass. Conley against Gilgis Alexander. In the corner, Simmons with it. And Simmons slams it in. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. And it's Adams on the follow. Boy, the strength and the activity of Steven Adams makes him a force on the backboards. Gilgis Alexander against Conley. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Not a lot of room. Adams, some nice D. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for London. And there's the bucket from Tatum. Greg, when you played for the Knicks, I always heard that Charles Oakley would cook for the players. Is that true? Absolutely. Oak was very particular about his food. And I got to tell you, he knows his way around the kitchen. And to be honest, I would never tell him otherwise. Well, what was his special? Whatever he made, it was special. <laughs> Wouldn't matter. To the middle. And that one falls coming time off out, Conley's feet. Young's got four points in the quarter. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Lions. Mm -hmm. And as we watch the game wind down, you have to look back at all the second chance points these guys generated. Yeah, they clearly won the second chance points category. Possession after possession, we watch them go after the ball and make misses turn into mates. And a milestone win for the season. This will push their victory total to 20 wins even. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Jason Tatum. 
what a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. Maria with it. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. And so it's Utah here with the ball. Burton, the pass to Niang. Nance with some nice D. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. To the left wing. Neesmith, the pass to Cornette. Over Thomas. And London again with the bucket. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. And so it's London easily grabbing this one. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. That's it, folks. The